This is a regular potato. And this is the world's largest potato. Now, before we stay 24 hours in the world's largest potato, we have to go there because I live in California and this potato is in Idaho. So let's go. It's so crazy. Look at the size of this potato versus the potato that we're going to be staying at. It's literally like a hundred. Now, I don't even know how many, a thousand, maybe a thousand times bigger than this, which is crazy. Let's go ahead and get packing because tomorrow we have a very early flight. Still got clothes from last time I was on the trip. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that's pretty much all we'll need. Now it's time to go to bed and wake up tomorrow morning and go to Idaho. All right, guys, good morning. It's time to go to the airport. Made it to the airport on time. I brought the potato with me and it was a horrible idea. The security guy was like, why are you bringing a potato? Anyways, let's get on the flight. We have arrived to the beautiful state of Idaho and I brought Henry with me. That's right, I named him Henry. So let's go stay at the world's largest potato it wasn't too bad only a 45 minute drive and we have arrived guys look at the world's largest potato here's some information about the potato hotel pretty cool and it comes with a cow Aww. we can't forget henry guys what the heck would this video be without henry oh my god they look the same size like this that's so cool. Let's put them side by side. Let's compare them. So this is Henry. You can't even see him anymore. That's the giant potato. And he's right there. How cute. Are you friendly? Nope. You're so cute. Oh my God, guys. That's so crazy. Potato, cow. Cow, potato. That is so cool. <laughs> I can't believe it. Also, I didn't know it snowed in Idaho. That's new to me. Oh, he has a ball. Or she has a ball. You want some food? I'm sorry. I don't have any food to give you. I'm so sorry. She's mad because I'm not giving her any food. <laughs> As I was filming, I kept seeing these tanks be driven by. They're actually really cool looking. But I was like, what the heck? Where are they going? Because there's nothing in this area. So I was pretty surprised to see them. Welcome to the world's largest hotel potato. And it's the largest potato ever too. I'm gonna be spending the next 24 hours inside of this giant potato. So let's go look inside. Right off the bat, we got a front door here. Just gonna twist it. Here we go, moment of truth. First impression of this, super duper cool. Honestly, I love it. I would live here forever if, if I'm being honest. Uh, let's do a bed check real quick. Ugh. It's a little firm, a little firmer than I like. I like a little soft beds, uh, but this one's a little bit too firm. What's really weird about the bed is that literally right on top is this antler chandelier that if it falls, it, it could probably impale you and kill you at night. Uh, it's held together by zip ties. As you can see right there. So it's not the best structure. And uh, hopefully that doesn't kill me at night. Other than that, pretty cool. We have some decorations, pretty neat. Um, does this open up? Okay, let's see if we got a secret in here. Oh, it's a record player for, uh, yeah, a record player. Pretty cool. Ooh, we got eggs, huh? Oh, uh, they're not real, they're empty. If there was something in here, I'd probably eat them for breakfast, but they're empty so i mean pretty cool decorations oh we got a mr potato head nice uh little fridge nothing too f fancy schmancy and some more records perfect trash can my drone and they left me this some hammond's pig and taters 
nice. One thing to note that I didn't notice when I first walked in here, uh, with the lights off, it's super dark. Like it legit goes pitch black with the lights off. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick. All right, we got all the lights off. I'm gonna close the door so you guys can see how dark it gets. Look at this. Black, there's nothing. I can't even see the camera and it's literally in front of my face. <laughs> now you're wondering, where is the bathroom, sir? I have not seen a bathroom in here. Well, I'm gonna show you guys right now. Let's go take a look at that. <laughs> I love that there's a cow here. Look at my cow friend over there, chilling like a villain. All right, so we're just gonna make our way out the door. This is the door. Make our way out this way. Uh, you have to walk a little bit, but not too far. Inside of this silo here is our bathroom. So let's take a look inside of that. Ladies and gentlemen, the pooper. I came and used the bathroom earlier and I was super shocked on how cool this looks. Um, first of all, have you ever seen a fireplace in a bathroom? Me neither. There you have one. And the reason why they have it right there is because right behind there is a trough type bathtub, which is pretty cool. Like I said, it's right there. Fireplace. And they have a silo for a bathtub, which is awesome. The weird thing about the toilet is that this handle here is how you flush it. Uh, and when you flush, the sink is right above it and it pours water out. So I don't know if it's recycled water. I I'm pretty sure it's not. It's not gonna be the poopy water or the pee, pee water that comes out of there. But I found that to be pretty cool. I've never seen a sink literally right behind the toilet. Let's make our way around the rest of the silo slash bathroom. They gave me some cool robes. Oh, and we got some Yeezy slides, let's go. Now the back is where you'll see the shower. So there we have the shower. It's like an open shower, there's no curtain or anything. Uh, it just You just walk behind here and you take a shower. What the hell? Hey, yo! Boy, what the hell, boy? Kinda sus, bro. They should clean that. Come on, man. And that's pretty much it. Bathroom is pretty cool. Oh my god. Oh, oh, what the hell, bro? No! No! It was a pleasant surprise to find out there was some snow around here. The potato probably looks super cool in the snow. So I should have came a couple, maybe a month or two before. Uh, shout out to my cow friend. We should give her a name. I don't know, what should we name her? You guys let me know in the comments. Dance break. Let's go talk to our cow friend one more time. Wait, I think they have the cow treats for, I think it has a name, but it's like super faded out. So I don't know the name, but cow treats. Let's see if we can get some cow treats. I guess we just grab this here, place it there. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't have any. She's so excited, she knows what's going on. Okay, there's no cow treats in here. I'm sorry, little girl, there's only a little bit. A little bit. You want some? Oh my God! Hey, yo! Chill, bro! God damn! I'm sorry. Yeah, that's it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yo! I'm sorry. There's no more, look. I'm all out. Sorry. There's brushes. Maybe I'll brush her. Let's see if she wants a brush. Probably not. She, you can tell she wants food. But I'm going to brush you, pretty girl. <laughs> she says no. You don't want to get brushed? She's so smart. Cows are actually very smart. I'm sorry. I have to go. There's no treats left. Hopefully, I don't catch her in the bed tonight. So It was starting to get dark, and my shoes were very muddy. So I decided to go take a shower and wash off my shoes because I stepped on a puddle a couple of times. And after the shower, I decided to get some food. It's nighttime now, so I'm going to eat some of my food. And I got fries, so it's going to be super inception. Fries instead of a giant potato with a potato. Oh, my God, too much going on. All right, guys, we got our fries. And we have Henry, our potato here. That's too much potato going on, man. We're literally in a potato. Life's crazy. After I ate, I was extremely tired and just went straight to bed. Good morning, guys. Sorry I didn't document too much last night. I got super tired and just knocked out. But I can successfully say that I did survive in 24 hours in this potato. Pretty cool. Made it all the way back home. Sorry I didn't film much. I was too tired to film. It was super early in the morning. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was super duper fun. The potato was awesome. 
had a blast idaho's great and that's pretty much it anyways thanks for watching see you guys next week for another fresh brand new delicious video peace